What's going on, guys? This is your man, Coach Sweat, uh, for the uh, SGO SportsGamersOnline.com. Uh, basically going over just a quick little uh, video on how to set up your Twitch on your PS4. Uh, I know a lot of people already have this done, and I congratulate you if you do. If you don't, then this video is for you. Okay, so if you already have a setup, then obviously you don't have to check this out. Uh, but this is uh, for everybody that wants to put their Twitch account on their PS4 and don't and does not know how to do it. Very simple. For people that already have PS4s, these windows are going to show up for you uh, that you're going to see here today. For people that just got a PS4, it's going to be a little bit different. So what we're basically going to do here is show you how to set this up. So the first things first, um, basically what you're going to do is on your PlayStation controller, uh, you have you have your option button here and then you have your share button here The share button is the one that you're about to uh, click. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap the share button one time This window will pop up on your share button Okay, so then once this pops up uh, for people that already have playstations These things are already gonna pop off pop up uh, where it shows upload video clip yada yada, yada sh start share play save screenshot things like that for people that just got a PS4, something different is going to show up, and I'm going to get to that in a second. But anyway, what you're basically going to do here is you're going to click the option button on your PlayStation controller uh, to go to share settings slash view guide. Okay? So now you're going to go to share settings after that. Now here you're going to be in your share settings. you got your share button control type. you got your video clip settings, broadcast settings, and link with other services. That's what we're going to go first, is link with other services. So once we click on there, now we're on the Daily Motion, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Ustream, YouTube, yada, yada, yada. In this instance here, I had my Twitch set up, but I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, I already deleted it, so I can show you for video purposes on how to do it. So basically, when you click on Twitch, this is going to show up. Now, to people that have brand new PlayStations, this will automatically pop up for you okay in, in the beginning okay this will automatically pop up for you you have to log into twitch and activate this ps4 for twitch okay so what you're going to basically do is go to the twitch site and you go directly on the uh playstation 4 and once we click on it this pops up and it's create new account or log in if you don't have an account you create a new account it's very simple if you if uh if you have an account already you just go to log in you click log in and you type in your, your username and your password. And now as far as your password is concerned, you're going to be able to basically look at everything here and type in your password, which I'm going to do in one second here. Not done yet. So now type my password in. Okay. And now what basically happens is now it shows that my Twitch account information is saved. Okay. So all my information is now in the system. Simple. Very simple. Okay. So now when I click OK. My Twitch account is already saved. It's good to go. All right. So if I go now back to a game and uh, let's just say, for example, I go to Call of Duty. Okay. So now I'm on Call of Duty right now. I'm just going to get out of here real quick so you can kind of see uh, what's going on here. Okay. Been disconnected. Okay. We know this. So we're going to go ahead and get to the online services for this beta if everybody doesn't know this is the beta for call of duty black ops 3 very good game i may add uh so once we hit uh start continue and all that good stuff so right here uh, i'm in front of my multiplayer setup so now i'm in a game you have to be in a game in order to do this so basically hit the share button again 
once you hit the share button while you're in the game, okay, it's going to say broadcast gameplay. Click that. And then it's going to tell you, ask you which one you want to broadcast from. I want to broadcast from Twitch. So my, my information is already in there. So I broadcasted earlier with Madden 16 EA Pass, yada, yada, yada. You can change this title to whatever you want. So we can change it to C O D Beta. Or is it going to work for me? Okay, just COD. We'll do that. Oh, matter of fact, hold on. Wait one second. Got to change all that. There we go. C O D Beta. Okay. So once we hit that, we hit R2, and that's the title. We're all set up here. If you have your Twitter and you have your Facebook account set up, you can check those, and people will be able to see in your Twitter and your Facebook accounts that you're broadcasting, and you could go ahead and hit Start Broadcasting. Once you click Start Broadcasting, it's done. So now you are broadcasting. Now, as you can see here, you're broadcasting pretty much with, uh, with these little borders right now currently. You can change these borders if you want to change them. So all you do is hit the Share button again. And then once you do that, you go to your share settings view guide. You click share settings view guide, then you go to share settings. And then you're going to go to your broadcast settings. Once you click your broadcast settings, then you go to advanced settings. Then from your advanced settings, this is where you can change everything. So that little border that we just looked at says display message to spectators and spectator comments. If we uncheck that, okay. And then you can check also if you want to include your microphone or if you don't want to include your microphone, which is cool. So if you don't want to include your microphone, just don't check that at all. Okay. So um, if you do have this checked, then you could do message to spectators as well. So if you click message to spectators, you can put whatever you want and it shows up on the bottom of your screen. So let's just say, for example, here I did. Uh, uh, let's see. www dot sport sports gamers on the line dot com let's do that again com okay so now I just typed in sportsgamersonline.com. I click R2 to finish that up. And as you can see in your little preview bar right here, it shows on your preview that it shows up on the bottom. So you can click background color and you can do whatever color you want. So if you let's say I want it yellow, click yellow, pops up. Uh, click red, pops up. So let's say we keep it in red. All right. So we'll go back, hit back and go back out. And then when we get back out to the broadcast, it will actually show up completely. And there you go. Now, this is your actual broadcast, so you can play your game and see everybody, uh, you know, chiming in on the side here and showing things on the side, which is really cool. Uh, but again, if you just want to see the full fledged screen, then again, you just click the share feature. You go to options, share settings. Go to broadcast settings advanced settings and then you just uncheck this completely go back out and then once you go back out and you get back to the full game then you'll actually be able to see the entire screen you just see on the top that you're on air now anytime somebody follows you you'll see it on the top that somebody's either not following you but anytime somebody's tuning in you'll see that number come up on the top but at least you get to see the whole screen screen all right, so guys, that's basically how you set up your Twitch account. It's very easy. I know I made this video a little lengthy, but it, again, it's extremely easy to do. So make sure you get it done because it's a requirement, okay? And also rule of thumb too, again, and I know for guys that see my videos or heard me talk before, anytime you're playing video games for the most part, I recommend that you hardwire yourself in. I do not recommend at all that any of you guys play video games 
uh, on a wireless network. I feel that you really need to wire in. If you wire in, it's 10 times better. You have less lag and you don't have any issues. You have to think about it. Your PlayStation 4 is actually playing a very high quality game, pushing out a whole bunch of graphics and things of like that, a whole bunch of movements. And then on top of that, it's now streaming live um, information uh, directly from your PlayStation 4 to the internet, to Twitch. So with all of that hard work being done, and the PlayStation 4 is extremely powerful, but with all that hard work being done, nine times out of 10, you could get some lag if you're wireless. So hard wire in, so that way you don't have any issues with your, uh, you know, with your streams and, and, and things of that sort. So again, guys, this is your man, Coach Swept, signing off. Get at you later on. I appreciate y'all checking everything out here. I really do. And um, again, if you don't know yet, on the bottom right here, www.sportgamersonline.com. That's where our league site is. Make sure you check us out. We are doing big, 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 big things here. Okay? So make sure you check it out. I'll get at y'all later. And don't forget, streaming is a necessity in our league. Make sure you're prepared to do so. That's why I took the time to make this video for you.